All right, and welcome back, everyone. Welcome to the Oubliette of the Wolf. As you can see, I have brought my wolves down here. And I'm seemingly, or sealing them up inside these Oubliettes. Small little dark chambers. Uh, I wanted to show off how to build this. This is actually for collecting dung. Um, automated way of collecting down and you can hear from the water flow underneath that I have set up a long series of or not a long series a single water source that flows down can't really see it very well from where I'm standing here but um, you can see the way it V shapes just like I did with the millstones area. So these are all just beneath um, the, uh, you know, these are all just beneath the individual oubliettes so that the dung falls down and gets collected here in the stewing pot. So what happens is, is I've set these up like this by building, you know, three by three chambers, which are uh, ended arm and amount high, with a hole in the top, so I can drop food down. Wolves produce dung best when you feed them, and then they get to sit in a dark area. Um, so there will be no light when I'm done here. These torches are for me, really, to see what I'm doing. And I've set this up like this because it helps get the wolves into position in the center. Sometimes it can be difficult to get wolves to stay put in the dead middle of an area where you want them to. So here's what I do. I found this is relatively efficient. I'll select one of these wolves that I've got sitting over here. Oh, sorry. Down some dung here. I'll take this one. And I'll run down here to the end to show it off. Not all the way to the end, over right here. What I do is I come in here and move it and I stand on top of the block with the torch on it. That gets it to come in here and it will come up right next to me and stand in the dead middle. That's why I have this arranged like this. Then once I've got it sitting there, I'll push it in there a bit more to make sure it gets in there correctly. And lay down that block there to make sure it's not hanging off on one side too much. And then I just go through here and break away each of the blocks around the wolf. Got to be very careful when doing this. You don't want to accidentally knock the wolf down into the water. And when I'm done here, it's on a single little uh, one wide block so that when it releases dung, It'll fire off into one of the directions, hit one of these walls, and drop down into the water and be collected. And I've decided that what I wanted to try to do is to make a really large one here. So I have about 12 oubliettes, which means 12 wolves, for producing dung. So we basically kind of just do this over and over as we fill up the oubliettes. And welcome back. Once again, we're back at the Oubliette of the Wolf. And as you can see, maybe here, turn the sound down this time, you can see the wolves and the little Oubliettes. I have them over the opening, over each one of the Oubliettes that I have here and surrounded with some blocks. I had to go spider hunting to get at least, you know, enough dispensers to do the job here. So going to put down the dispensers at each space here. And the reason why I have the other three blocks around each empty one is that uh, the food that gets shot out will hit one of these and fall down into the oubliette and it will fall directly onto the block that the wolf is on so that it will then eat it rather than it falling into say the water. And now for one of the most important steps sealing off the top of the oubliettes. This is important because if you have light coming in there on the top, like that, 
it um, results in basically your wolves not uh, that's what we're looking for. They don't produce dung as efficiently or as fast. If you don't cover it up because if you let light in then they won't release the dung as quickly I guess you would say. Now one of the things to keep in mind and this is true with mob traps as well um, is that um, <clears throat> The um, half blocks are no good for this. Because if I remember right, the problem is currently that half blocks do let in light uh, to a certain degree. Uh, and that would mess up, you know, mob traps that depend on light related spawning and so on and so forth. So as a result, it's important not to depend on those so much. Er, <clears throat> not to depend on a mob traps or not to depend on um, half blocks to cover things in terms of light source prevention you want to have full blocks for that and let's see one more time yep okay and we'll do this simple test here. And I'll put the button down. Yep. Now to go through and load these all up. So let's go back here and try it out. So they're all reduced by seven, which means the wolves have been fed. Though it will be some time later before we actually get done to confirm this, because as I said, it takes about a day, roughly, for them to do that. So this wraps up the uh, creation of the, uh, the oubliette of the wolf.